Hello friends, my name is Malik Nejat and welcome to second part of CI CD pipelines and Traform. In first part, we discuss about theoretical and practical concept of GitLab CI CD and installed GitLab runner and registered it as a specific runner on GitLab server. Now we continue with starting basic CI CD pipeline. Before I start, I will appreciate for like this video and put your feedback in the comment below. Let's start. Let's run first CI CD job. I want to create a very, very simple job to see how it works and see if there are issues can solve them before going to execute or transform codes. In this file, we are going to define the pipeline jobs, stages, and the configuration. For a start, there is no matter if you don't know how to start. For a start, each job has a name. So, first thing, we should write here the name of job. For example, job 01, semicolon, enter. The first parameter that we should know about it, it's called a script. This is the first parameter that we should use here to run our job. So here we should use this keyword. Now we should define our jobs that should be executed here. For example, I want job 01 run and print hello for users as output. So let create a commit because we should commit on the main branch at the moment. Job on CI CD on GitLab CI CD. Just commit. As soon as we commit, as I told you before, it trigger GitLab runner to run this one. Let's back to dashboard repo manager. As you see here, first job on GitLab CI CD failed, pipeline failed. Let's go inside. Let's check why it's failed here. Let's go into here to pipelines and check why it is failed. First job on GitLab CI CD. Click here, click on jobs. Let's consider the result why this job failed as you see here it seems docker daemon is not exist on gitlab runner machine let's back to gitlab runner machine and install docker on it docker it seems yes docker is not installed so let's install docker on it i pause the video here and install that and i will back soon let's check docker version docker installed and let's continue with gitlab ci cd okay let's rerun this job again and we see what will happen as you see here in this time docker executor run pulling docker image let's going down created fresh repository and again as you see it's failed unable to access this one as you see here it is lab server name and this is a repo manager but as you see here it couldn't resolve this name because we don't have dns here so it's a little difficult for gitlab server to resolve that so what we should do here for solving this problem, if we go to Google again and search for this one, GitLab Runner Clone URL, we will find an example for that and how to use it in our configuration. As you see here, in the runner, we can use our address as a clone URL. Let's back to GitLab Runner configuration, etc. GitLab Runner. There is a file with name config.toml here. Let's open it. Add it here, for example. Clone URL. It So change it with our address. Let's save it and we need to restart GitLab configuration after our changes. 
let's back to GitLab server and rerun job 01. As you see here, echo hello Traform user and print it on a screen and job succeed. So to wrap up, as you saw, we had some issue. One of them was Docker engine that was not installed on GitLab server. So after we installed Docker, that issue solved and we had another issue related to name resolving. So with adding Kelon URL to GitLab runner configuration, also it was solved. At the moment, our GitLab runner with Alpine image works fine. We can play with the configuration inside this file and add another job, add stages, and going forward to run or Traform configuration. Let's back to terminal. Let's update repo manager on the developer computer. Git pull. As you see here, GitLab CI YAML added here, ls or ll. As you see here, GitLab CI here. I want to do change from terminal in a state of going to GitLab server directly. Let open dot GitLab YAML file and add uh, another line to this job. Save it. Git status. So we modified this file. Also, we don't need Traform TF state. As you remember from the last video, we transferred Traform state to remote backend. So at first, let uh, remove this one. RM Traform .tf state. Again, git status deleted. So git rm from here and also add this one status git commit minus m committed here after we push or change to GitLab server automatically should be run. Let me DevOps back pipelines. As you see here, it's running. Click it here, it finish. As you see here, hello terminal user, Terraform users. Hello from terminal of developer. Good. So from our workstation, we did change in GitLab CI.yaml, commit and push to GitLab server, automatically trigger GitLab runner. GitLab runner bring up a Docker, and finally, send the result to GitLab server. Let's do another change. Add another job here. Job 02 in a script. We want job make a folder called test and then switch to that folder. And in the folder, create a file called test01.txt and then add line one to this file and finally chat this file. Let's add the commit message and commit as you see here, checking pipeline status, syntax is correct. Here automatically check the syntax. If you have any problem, it uh, will show you there is this problem in your configuration. So it seems the job is done. Pipelines, as you see, passed. Let's click here, job. 01 job 02 for the job 02 test test and cat it make a folder switch to that folder then created a file added a line to that and then print the content of that file here let's talk about stages stages which define when to run the jobs for example Stages that run Traform apply after stages that run Traform plan. We use our configuration stageless. At the moment, we want to bring up stages in our configuration and see how it works. Let's go to GitLab server or CI CD file. Let's see how to add stages. For adding stages, there is a parameters or keywords called stages and we can define our stages here. For example, stage one, 
stage 2. Here we should define job 01 run in which stage. There is a keyword called stage, so stage 1. And also job 02, we want this job run in stage. Let's commit it. Add a message here. Okay, let's commit that. You see here a stage 1 and a stage 2. In a stage 1, we have job 01. And in a stage 2, we have job 02. We can have some jobs in each stage. For example, we can define job 01 and job 02 done in a stage 1. And in a stage 2, we can add another job. A step by step, I will show you. Job 1 finished. And a stage 2 also done. So we added stages here. We learned how to bring up stages in our configuration. Let's do another change to our configuration. I want to remove this stage from here. And both of them, job 01 and job 02, run in stage 1. So I need to add it here. Stage, stage 1. And add another job called job 03. Add to a stage 2. Just type echo stage 2. Let's commit. As you see here, job 01 and job 02 running in stage 1 and job 03 will run in a stage two. So all the jobs and stages done. The result of a stage two. Let's check job zero one. As you see here, when this job start to running, it will use and bring up a Docker container to execute and run the job. And after job finish, this container will be destroyed and disappear. And for job 02, again, we'll bring up another container. And after this job be finished, also this container will be destroyed. So this question may be come to our mind. If, for example, in a stage 2, if we need the result from job 02 in a stage 1, how should we use that? As you know, Docker container storage are not persistent. So the result will be gone. So how we can access to this result? Here, another parameter comes to our configuration. It's called artifact. What is artifacts? Once the job finish, the result uploading to artifacts. And when the new jobs start to running and need to use the result from the last stage, download the artifacts and use the result from the last job. Let's show you in practical. Back to editor. For example, in job 02 in stage 1, we have created a file called test01.txt and we added line 1 to that. So in stage 03, I want to retrieve the content of this file. Let's remove this one and for example cat test test01.txt. Let's commit before r facts commit click here and see job 01 and job 02 done but job 03 failed as you see here cannot open test 01.txt no such file or directory couldn't find that as I told you in the last job container destroyed and all the result gone so for solving this problem as i told you we should use artifacts 
let's back to pipelines editor and in job 02 after job done we use this keyword rt facts with the s at the end of that so artifacts need to know from where can take the result so we use another keywords called path and we say they are in the folder of test and artifacts send the result to GitLab server when the job 03 start to run will download this artifacts and use it let's commit this change let's commit this change and see what will happen let's check pipelines job 01 02 is finished let's check 02 uploading artifacts so the result from this job uploaded as artifacts to coordinator coordinator it means gitlab server let's check job 03 it is in running status as you see here in this time job succeed with no failing let's back to job 02 i want to show you here as you see here job artifacts is here and we can download or browse it as you see in artifact test test 01 here is the end of second part of GitLab CI CD pipelines and Traform. I will be back soon with the last part of this story. See you.